and we're going to use 3 because that's our next panel in line. Now for 3 it's a little different when it comes to the coordinate plane. I mean when it's said when it sorry, the x and off y the x offset y offset is just a little different. We go down the texture options name 3 um border textures none. Go back up to 3. Hit background color style to none. Scaling 8.4 and height to 56 512 alrighty then now the uh, the X offset is going to be zero that's gonna make it snap dab in the middle and just hit your Y offset to um, all the way down to the bottom if you want, just use the the nudge, guys. I mean, you only want to do this one time, right? Just do it right the first time. Unless you know your pixel uh, ratio of your screen and you just know the numbers by heart, then you can move a little faster than everyone else. All right, notice how that is snug. No gaps, seriously, no gaps. It's going to look crappy. Adjust the opacity to 70. All right, we're done with three. Moving on. It's pretty fast. Doesn't take too long. All right, go to four. Hit OK. Create. Now for four and five, you're gonna. It's gonna be a lot different for everyone else. I wouldn't say a lot. A little. What am I saying? Um, number four. Border size none. Set the opacity to 70. Solid, nope, none. Scaling, 8.5, 8.4. And the height, 256. And the width, you can't, you can't adjust the width now. You got, you got to put the width at like uh, 25 pixels. Now the objective is to get this in the middle. Now if you have to, use, get it. Perfect, and you got to get into the middle. Oops. Get it in the middle where the best eyeball you can. Go back up to the width. Now change the width. The width. Let's try a hundred. All right. We need more, and you can tell right now that it it's not centered. So centered as best as possible. Now go back. We're gonna try 150. Not quite yet. Center it a little better. 153? Nope, not yet. 154? Nope. 155? Perfect. And you guys notice how you can't even tell there's a panel there, and that's how it should look. Lock that panel. Make sure you're locking these panels if I haven't been saying, because I haven't been doing it, so you guys might not have been. Go down to activate panel 5. This panel is going to be the same thing as 4. So you don't need to watch this step. You don't need to watch this step. Texture options. 5. Border textures? None. Back up to 5. Solid? None. Panel height? 256. Panel width? 25. Scaling 8.4. Now set it in the general area and use your nudge buttons. Adjust the panel width to, let's say, 100. You notice it's not centered properly. Center it as best as possible. 150. Still not centered. Let's center it a little better. There we go. Now 155 I know is you know is flush. Now we're gonna use the opacity. Forgot to change that again. And you can notice that it's not flush. I lied. Let's try 256. Nope. 257. It's actually overboard that I'm noticing it. So 254. Now 254 is flush for me. That is the bottom UI. 
Look how simple that was. It barely even took me any time. Now we're going to go on to six. We're almost done, guys. Alright, texture options. Go down to six. And, um, go down to border none. Now what I've noticed right here since I just pulled this off, look at all that crap. I'm going to put my UI there. Got to move that. So I'm going to close out of that real quick. Go to dominoes and move all this stuff back in the center. Alright, since I got that all taken care of, type in slash kg panels. Config. Alright, we're back up where we started. I mean, where we uh, last ended. Go to solid, you're going to hit none. Panel height, 256. Panel width, 512. Oops. Scaling, 8.4. 